Gilan Kalman joins us now from London. He's a professor of disasters and uh, health at the University College in London. Thanks so much for coming on the programme. Um, Elan, we just saw there our reporter um, just showing how difficult it is to speak and see during uh, Hurricane Laura. How destructive do you see that hurricane being? Unfortunately, this is going to be very destructive. We're talking about hurricane force winds going out maybe 100 kilometers from the center. It is washing over very low-lying territory, and they are saying that some of the ocean water through the storm surge could go in 10, 20, 30 kilometers. And unfortunately, a lot of people do live in that area, so we are going to see, unfortunately, probably some deaths and a lot of buildings devastated. And why, Ilan, are we seeing um, more severe storms? Well, the severity or the strength is uh, goes through many different cycles. There is no doubt that what we are seeing under climate change is increasing that strength or severity. But we also know that in the long term, climate change is going to decrease the number of Atlantic, Gulf and Caribbean hurricanes. So it's always that balance. What we do know is that it is hurricane season and that they are in a hurricane belt. So no matter what climate change is doing to the hurricane, we have to absolutely be ready for it. And the people there have experienced so many before. If we want to stop the hurricane disaster, we need to worry less about the hurricane and more about ensuring that people know what to do when a warning is issued. And one media report said Hurricane Laura would become the new benchmark uh, storm for this region of the United States. Would you agree with that severity? Well, well, we're going to see the data. A lot depends on where it hits and who's living there. So at the moment, it is moving between the two big cities, Houston and New Orleans, which means that the actual disaster may be far less destructive than Hurricane Harvey in 2017, which went over Houston, and then Hurricane Katrina in 2005, which hit Hurricane, which hit New Orleans. In terms of severity and storm surge, yes, this is big which is why people have to get out. But they know they are living in a floodplain. They know that hurricanes happen. And so rather than saying, well, let's use this as a benchmark from the past, we need to look to the future regarding where people are living, how they are living, and try to ensure that no matter what hurricane hits that coastline or elsewhere, we do not see a hurricane disaster. And just help us understand uh, in general why hurricanes, uh, why their strength changes a lot of it is that the ocean is taking up heat from the atmosphere, and it's the heat from the ocean which drives the winds. It drives the hurricane circling around and drives that strength. So we are causing climate change. We know that is heating the atmosphere, which then hit, heats the top of the ocean. So when a storm forms, it means that storm is taking more heat from the ocean, circles much more quickly, and is more intense. That is when a storm forms. Because there's a lot of other factors, both locally and globally, which climate change is causing, which is expected to reduce the numbers. Any storm, though, is a problem. And as Category 4 at landfall, it's certainly not the most intense it could be, but it is deadly. And and we are going to see a major, major concerns coming out from the destruction. Ilan Kalman from University College London, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.